Yeah, I was really hoping that this would go away, that this was all just a big miscommunication, but I think we're moving into choppier waters, everybody. Any of you watching that still thinks that there is no culture war against the gun community and gun channels on YouTube, y'all need to have your head examined. Let's get into this. Welcome back to the channel, Dem Members. My name is Matt, and if this is the first time you're visiting us, welcome to the Phantom Llamas Den, while it's still around on YouTube. So if you're not familiar with the situation going on with gun channels on YouTube, a lot of the big channels and some of the not so big channels are getting hit with community guideline strikes. Things that they have done for years and not had issue with suddenly are now, as of the first of the year, against community guidelines and videos are retroactively being striked and being told they have to be either taken down or edited but a lot of these if they have x number of views can't be edited so you really just have to take the video down or suffer the consequences. The most notable of the channels that have been affected are Demolition Ranch, Mr. Guns and Gear, Grand Thumb, Brandon Herrera, the AK guy, Forgotten weapons. Forgotten weapons. So what's really going on? I'll make it really easy. Mr. Guns and Gear did a really good video a couple weeks ago. And I'll put a link to the video down in the comment section and in the description. But recently, YouTube's community guidelines as they pertain to firearms were changed. And not in a very obvious way, but enough that now it seems that it is left open to interpretation and the rules are being interpreted very loosely. Now, there are some guidelines and some of the stuff has been all but confirmed. The big one is inserting a magazine of 30 rounds or more into a firearm. So anytime that you have in a video yourself or somebody inserting a standard capacity standard capacity magazine into a rifle that accepts detachable magazines that is now being classified as modifying the firearm you can shoot a firearm with a 30 round magazine you can shoot a belt fed firearm you can shoot a firearm that has a drum magazine attached but if you show yourself or somebody inserting the magazine that's where you've crossed the line the other big thing that i've seen is attaching a suppressor to a firearm you can have video of a suppressed firearm being shot but if you show installing or screwing that suppressor on that's when you've committed an offense according to youtube it's ridiculous it used to be you can't show how to make homemade suppressors or as they called them silencers you can't show how to make high capacity magazines you can't show how to make a firearm but you could always show doing something that was well within your rights for the most part but no more as i said they are now retroactively striking channels sometimes repeatedly to the point where some accounts are being temporarily suspended it is absolutely nuts you know phantom llama's den has been very lucky enough to scoot under the radar mostly probably because we are less than 500 subscribers at time of recording speaking of which we've been seeing some impressive growth lately and i want to thank all of our new subscribers and all of our old ones too for sticking with us and again if this is your first time visiting channel please consider hitting the like button for this video subscribing to the channel hitting that bell icon to get notifications for future content we've got a lot of great stuff coming and consider sharing this with your friends especially right now because the only way that we are going to, if it's even possible at this point, beat YouTube's algorithm and beat YouTube itself is if we as a gun community stick together. So I guess this is actually the second part of the video. There's one last announcement that I've got and I'm really excited for it. As a community, we need to start banning together. If you are watching this video and you yourself have a gun channel drop a comment in the comment section let us know if you've been affected by this if you haven't great let us know that too 
but also start showing your support for all these other gun channels that you see on YouTube. I know some are pretty cringy. I know we can be cringy. We are pretty low budget here. We're a hobby channel at this point. We'd love to see ourselves grow, but at this point we are doing this out of just the love of firearms and seeing that there is a need to spread a pro second amendment, pro firearm message in this increasingly anti-gun culture that is being manifested and festered in this country. Because that is not what the founding fathers wanted for this country. The founding fathers wanted us to be well armed, to be able to fight tyranny and fight for our personal individual freedoms and liberties. So please consider supporting all of your gun channels. Hit that like button on the videos that you see. I know that we don't always hit the like button every time we like it. It's not about giving that endorphin rush to the creator. It's about helping fuel the algorithm, showing that this gun content is something that is desired on YouTube. We are absolutely in a culture war and the most effective tool that the other side has against the gun community is censorship. We cannot afford to idly stand or I guess sit by and watch YouTube destroy this community. This is how we get our message out through communication, through spreading the word of responsible gun ownership, spreading that firearms are not evil. They are not a bad thing. When you start to believe that something is bad or scary, you give the person that wields that thing more power. The third part of this video is actually a kind of a silver lining announcement. Like other channels, I have now decided that we are going to clone the Phantom Llamas Den, our YouTube channel, over on Rumble. It's gonna be a process and if you go over now, you're not gonna see all the content we have on YouTube up there yet, but we will be getting it all up, at least the best of it. As far as new content is concerned, the upload schedule is going to stay the same. Every Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Central, videos will go live on YouTube. Then either Friday or Saturday, the videos will go live on Rumble. So YouTube will still get the videos first. However, Rumble will start seeing a little bit extra content. It'll be short videos, maybe like minute long things. It'll be the uncensored version, that kind of thing. Now, the way that things are on YouTube, not being able to insert a 30 round magazine or, well, I'm not wealthy enough to have a suppressor of my own yet. Or from what I hear, it could even be attaching any kind of attachment to a firearm. What? So are you gonna say that I can't attach my bayonet to my M1 Garand here? It's gonna be a little more guarded. Like I said, we haven't been hit by this. I think I usually just edit the mag insertions out, but now I'm gonna be making a conscious effort not to do that. Over on Rumble, we're going to have it uncensored. Yes, that means a little more work for me, but you deserve it. Again, it's gonna be a clone of YouTube, but now and then, you know, maybe check in from time to time and you'll be rewarded with something that we can't put on YouTube or something that we have to censor more heavily on YouTube. Again, I really hope that this is just a passing miscalculation or miscommunication within YouTube, but the way things are going in this country, the number of attacks on our Second Amendment rights, the severity of those attacks and the overall just disregard for the law and people's rights it feels like it's accelerating and i think we're coming to a flashpoint whatever that looks like so i think it's more important than ever that we expand our horizons to try and get our message out as small of a channel as we are. And who knows, maybe with Rumble and how it monetizes, we'll be able to make a little bit more money, which would be anything greater than zero. We're really excited. We wanted to let you all know that this is how we're addressing this situation. And please show your support for gun channels on YouTube with your views, your likes, your subscribes, your comments, your 
interaction with those communities. It's the only way that we are going to succeed in getting our pro Second Amendment message out to the masses. The only way that we are going to be able to fight against this cultural attack on our Second Amendment rights and our rights and liberties in general is if we can get our message out. That's going to do it for this video, everybody. Again, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to our channel, hitting that bell icon for notifications on future content. As always, please stick together. Don't take life too seriously and make it a great day.